Hello and welcome to Caveman Mechanics 101. I'm uh, Captain Caveman. See, I'm uh, trying to see if I got spark here now. Looks to me. Get the key on. Those babies are sparking. And. Hang on. And it uh, looks like uh, I've got some compression. And uh, we turn the plug on. Yeah, that's. Looks like it's firing at about the right moment. So at least it's not 180 out. Okay. Turns out I cut this fuel line too short and it's uh, I don't want to push on that carb too hard right there. It's leaking out the bottom and maybe I could heat it up and slide it on a bit more. But I want the tank to go forward anyway. The tank's got to go up some. With the pet cock off, I think I can pull this. Let me get a little bit of oh yeah, what's out there? So I want to pull this here tank. Let's take a minute. So this is kind of how I have it wired. I got the black and the white coming from down here. The perspective points. This point is the white one that comes here that runs this plug. I've got the negative, I've got this yellow wire, which I wired this a while back, so it's coming up out of here, going down to here, underneath and uh, hooking up to that rectifier. But, um, so I got the negative green wire coming across, going to negative on this coil. I've got the positive. Okay, that's the one, that's the other points. And this one, this positive is going to the condenser, which is being grounded out. So hopefully I've got it wired right. The other thing is I cleaned this carb all up yesterday. And I'm looking and I see, I'm not sure what goes in there. Did I lose a couple screws? I don't know. Um, so, and it's leaking, so I guess I gotta get the float ball adjusted. Alright. Another thing is the way this brake is pulling. I mean, you'd be scraping the ground by the time you get any kind of brake at all. I don't know who made this, but uh, I thought I pulled caveman mechanics. So I just figured out I'm going to cut this off, to shorten it to the right length, and put the bend on it, and see how that works. Get that to pull correctly, and it's, it's a little brake doodad. Hopefully it will. I think I got another one of them I bought. Okay, I noticed when I was working on this from the videos uh, that I've seen is this uh, air screw, I think it is, takes an o-ring there wasn't one in there so I'm gonna have to buy a kit and put an o-ring on that and I guess that one goes all the way in and out turn uh, don't quote me on anything as you know I'm looking for answers not uh, giving them and this other one this called this is a cam fluke it's so dang inset in there, I can't get a socket on it. So what do you do? Do you buy a thin wall socket? How do you get how do you get that baby off? I'd like to know. Another thing uh, Lundmad said is there's a I don't know if one of these if that there or that there. There's your 
TDC. But um, no one scraped anything into this. Thank you.